Hello everyone, this is Spot. Welcome, welcome back to Shadowrun Hong Kong. Ah, this is a story-driven game, by the way. So if you haven't watched the episodes before, um, you can look for a link to the playlist in the description. You should probably start at the beginning. Uh, with the exception of the first episode, which is primarily character creation, um, you can skip that if you'd like. Um, and that'll be fine. Uh, just FYI, I like to make this clear at the beginning of every episode. I really, really, really like lore and story. So I will be reading almost everything that I can get my hands on. So, uh, yes. So just forewarned. Okay, so we just got through with this fight here. Um, and I think we're trying to make it down here. So I'm going to do this. I want to make sure that we're not missing any goodies. There's something here, obviously. What is this? Let's see. An illegal street drug made from the leaked kamikaze formula. Adds plus one body, plus one strength, and plus one willpower for five rounds. Every time the user is attacked, strength increases. Oh, that's interesting. We will take this. Um, I wonder if there's... Um, I forget in the in like Dragonfall if there was uh, any type of um, addiction. I don't remember. I don't think so. I love, I love me some cyberpunk. I love all the, ah, uh, it's great. Um, another gate panel. This one's been vandalized and busted up good. A real nightmare of a repair job. Wu stares at the fence, considering, oh, considering. Loops and wool, whorls, whorls, whorls. I am actually not familiar with that word. Whorls, or I would say whorls, but whorls? Maybe it's a typo of razor wire glitter in the lamplight. Or maybe I'm just ignorant and I've just never seen that word. Looks edged with monofilament. The corporations here don't screw around. Uh, Duncan and I have hopped plenty of fences before. It'll be, I'll be fine. Why don't we just cut ourselves an opening? Hmm, guess we better find another way through. I'm thinking cutting an opening is maybe not the best idea. Duncan nods his agreement. Think you can get the gate open, Carter? She winks at him. What do you think? She eyeballs the daub. It'll take me a few minutes, though. Frowning, she leans in to get a closer look at the mangled fuse box. A few seconds later, she starts pulling wires and yanking fuses. A look of intense concentration on her face. Thought she was a mage. In Cantonese, Ash. In Cantonese, Ash. He sounds like Raymond when he does that. Oh, he's just saying in Cantonese. So that, oh, so that she can understand. Is he saying we're being rude? I think so. What's with the lecture? Woo, in Cantonese. The the pin of my aunt is sitting on the end table. Satisfied? <laughs> ah, thought she was a mage. She is. Carter likes to know how things work. She used to be on the bomb squad. He continues in Cantonese. We speak only Cantonese from now on just like we did when we lived in Rat Raymond's. Those endless drills are about to pay off. Okay. I think that's necessary. Just like at Raymond's. It's Ray's mother tongue from here on out. It's coming back. Won't be a problem. He nods once, satisfied, then turns his back and scans the horizon. At least you can still handle yourself in a fight. Did you doubt it? So you're Lone Star now, huh? His back still to you. That's right. Are you wondering what I've been up to for the last eight years? Well, yeah, he asked about that earlier, and we told him we'd have to talk about it later. I guess this is later. Still giving you his back. Nope. The silence between you gets louder, heavier. Then it's broken by a sudden wailing screech. Wu's hand goes to his holster. The screech is replaced by the sound of grinding wheels. Glancing over to the console, you see Carter grinning back at you. Got it. Wow, that was a very, very fast gate. All right. Do, do, do. Okay. Is there anything around here of interest? I want clickies. Lots of clickies. Mm. Oh, hello. The light from the nearby vendor stall stabs into your eyes, triggering a throbbing ache in the back of your skull. You stop short, squinting as rough voices drift in on the wind. Where's everybody else? Where's the damn shipment? Haven't seen them yet, we just got here. The voice becomes irritated. 
Longway is probably waiting for us so we can haul it out of the boat for him. That lazy bastard. Let's just hang out here. Let him find us. Carter keeps your voice low. Looks like we're on a stroll through Smuggler Central. These gangers don't know we're here. We could probably just slip past. Or we could clip them. They're already looking for us. Might be better to take them out now while we've got the element of surprise on our side. Hmm. Ambushing enemies. While unaware hostiles are on screen, press the unholster button to enter turn-based combat mode. All right. I think that's new. I don't think that was in Dragonfall. It was pretty much like combat got initiated when it got initiated. Um, now, the question is, if we move into position here, we can move the crate and go around. That's intriguing. I wonder if they see us. Well, they said that we could slip past. What are these? Do, do we know what they are? Oh, yes, because I, I, I have that upgrade. I can actually see HP. So 20, 30, and 20. Hmm. Or we could slip past over here. Well, I think... How would our character respond, right? Our character is not Lone Star. But it is possible that they could show up later. So we could take them out now or slip away. Hmm. I like story. So we're going to try to take them out now. Let's see if we can do this like this. Um, I guess we'll do this here. Boom. Okay. So, is this me first? Okay. So I guess we'll do we could do a burst fire or spray and pray. But we could do a burst. Oh, you know what? We could do a grenade right here. I think that's probably a good idea. Let's do that. Go. Okay. And now we need to get... Actually, there's armor here, but not here. Oh, and he's still hurt, isn't he? Crap. Okay, actually, we go. There you go. Now I just need to get him somewhere. Actually, I'm going to keep him up here, actually, at the moment. Get her here, right? I can't tell where that is. Is that okay? Just an odd place. Okay, now what do we got here? Armor, right? Strip armor. Okay, so we could actually strip, or we could just fire. Who do we want to fire? This guy? 10 damage. Um, I might be able to fire up this guy. 99%? Yeah. Okay, he's out. Good. Yeah, I was worried about that. Even though he's way back there. Ow. Okay. I'm going to bring him up here. Wonderful. We're going to go... 43, 83. I guess I'll go here. Wonderful. I'll put him up here. And 99. Ooh, wow, actually, that was pretty damn good. Do we go for this guy, or... It'll be overkill. You know what? We're going to go ahead and take this guy out. Just to be sure. Three damage. Okay, he missed. Good. Can't aim yet. Missing. Ah. Three. And yeah, he's halfway in cover. Ah, that's not fun. Oh, and he healed. Wonderful. Hmm, it's still missing. Oh, time to reload. Okay, we can aim now. We're gonna do the same thing here. I guess we could, well, we could strip his armor, but I don't know if that's actually worth it. We should have thrown an aim on me first thing. How, how far is he? He's at eight. 
Yeah, we're gonna try to hit him. There he goes. Yeah. All right. So she gets three HP. It, it's kind of annoying. Like there's no way to actually handle their health problems while they're out. Let's see what we can find around here. Is there anything we're seeing? There's no loot or anything. Come on, loot's good. Oh, here we go. What do we got? Most basic med kit that heals you or any team member consumed when used. Yes, we're going to take that for sure. Let's look around. What's over here? No, nobody. What do we got? What do we got? Do do. I would love to see someone, especially since there's an editor, like take this campaign that's like really like really like uh, uh familiar with the Shadowrun universe and like just add massive lore spots like where you could spend an hour in this area just reading lore and all this stuff like what type of a tree is this where did it come from how about this bike who who made this bike where does it come from what type of agriculture distribution is in the city blah 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 blah, blah. you know um be really interesting this bike how much how much do they usually make in a day what's their home life like <laughs> uh da, 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 da. can we move this okay magic moving box awesome okay guys let's go in here karma gained awesome where do we need to go guess we're just going this way oh okay so it works is there one over here we don't know i don't know if there's actually like a line of sight thing if there's like things we can't see. Hello. Little exploring going on here, eh? Ooh, there's stuff over here. Exploring is so much fun. Is there? That's interesting. There's no um music, but there's just the rain sound, which is awesome. I love rain. Oh, fifty eight Union. Okay, let's go back this way. What's this? Do not know. Still water. I love storms. Seriously. Like if I... Oh, hello. Uh, he looks like you talked to him. Interesting. We have no way of actually getting into any type of thing here. Let's see what we can find around here though before we go deal with that. Anything interesting over here? Any other evils? Eviles? There's sandbags right there. That's actually really interesting. What we got around here? Anything? Anything worth looking at? This goes up a very long way. Mm -hmm. Exploring, exploring, exploring. I have to say, the thought of actually like like making like a mini campaign myself, uh, actually that that thought is actually really cool. Although to be honest, I am not familiar enough with the Shadowrun universe to make it believable. Wow, this is all right. We're gonna come all the way back here. Yeah, it looks like that's where we're supposed to go, so hopefully we're not going to get into a massive uh, firefight or anything. At least not immediately. What's up? Crossing the street, you make out four shadowy figures loitering in the plaza ahead. Troll, orc, dwarf, elf, two men, two women. They're different from smugglers in the dock. Alert, poised, professional. You can see they've made a token attempt to conceal their weapons. The unspoken message is clear. We're strapped. Mind your manners. Wu stands up tall, takes that amused tone he gets whenever he's standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with someone bigger, someone who doesn't know they're about to go down. Evening, folks. You got permits for those bazookas? The thick troll pulls his mouth into a comic frown. Permits? Hmm. Give me a minute. He makes a show of patting his pockets. Nope, guess not. I must have dropped mine in a dumpster, along with the last idiot who stepped to us. Wu coolly surveys the scene, nods in a friendly fashion. Is that right? Well then. Ah, uh, no, it's gonna be freaking. You can almost feel Wu's cop training kick in. It's like watching a drone execute a command r routine. 
He reaches for his rifle and brings it up quick, but it's too late. By the time it hits shoulder level, an assortment of nasty-looking ordnance is already trained on his head. Carter backs him up. She whips her arms forward, fists blazing with magical fire. Her eyes sweep the scene, darting from one figure to another. All right, everyone just be cool. The thick troll's voice is casual, amused. He shakes his gun in Wu's face. A little late for that, isn't it? Raise your weapon too. Nah, it's never too late to be cool. Put your hands in your pockets. Listen, guys, my stomach's doing somersaults. How about we all put our guns away before someone gets hurt? Hold up your hands, palms out. How about no one does anything stupid? We just want to talk. Hmm. We probably don't want to get into a firefight immediately. I mean, look at the size of that gun. That gun, if you turned it on edge, on like on, on vertical, it would be as tall as I am. That is a big freaking gun. That is a BFG. Um... Let's do hold up your hands, palms out. The thick troll smiles big. Oh, I can see that. Your buddies are totally chill. Something we can do for you, officer? Wu's jaw tightens, but his tone stays cool and controlled. I'm looking for an old man, Raymond Black. We were supposed to meet him here. You know him? The troll nods his enormous head. Mm-hmm. Wu's voice gets an edge. You can see a vein in his temple start to pulse. Where is he? Carter sees it too, keeps her voice neutral. Easy, Duncan. The troll maintains amused eye contact, but his weapon stays trained on Wu. That's right. Easy, Duncan. Your friend Raymond never showed. We've been waiting for the better part of an hour. You were going to meet with Raymond? Who are you? Think everyone can put their guns down? His voice is steady, but it's clear he's coiled. I don't think so. Not till I get some answers. Like? He mutters through gritted teeth. Like why a group of heavily armed assholes are meeting a little old man in a construction site at midnight. The orc girl chimes in. Her tone is light. She's trying to defuse the situation. We do odd jobs, so, you know, for money. Wu speaks softly, but you know that means he's reaching the end of his rope. He cracks his neck. Pop, pop. What kind of jobs? She gets a wry look in her eye. Her answer is flippant. Odd jobs. This and that. So you were his tour guides, right? What did he want with you? Keep talking. The troll's yellow-brown tusks shift into a smile again. He needed friends, the heavily armed kind. The old man hired us to take you all on a little excursion. That's intriguing. Wu's brow furrows. Hired you? He takes a moment, looks them over. They're an odd assortment. A cybered up troll. An orc girl with magical fetishes. A not that type of fetish. Less fun fetishes than that. A dwarf with a cyber deck slung on her back. And a tall man standing behind them, inscrutable. All with guns trained on Wu. Understanding spreads across Wu's face. His jaw tightens. You're shadow runners. The troll nods. Mm-hmm. Wu's shoulders creep up. His stance tightens. This is bullshit. Raymond would never hire shadow runners. They're criminals. The troll corrects him. Mercenary operatives. The dwarf cuts in. Her voice is soft, but strong. Criminal mercenary operatives she's hot so yeah you were right your buddy raymond was associating with a bunch of hardened criminals the troll tosses Wu a sideways smile while staring down the barrel of his gun sorry to burst your bubble lone star guess you didn't know the old man as well as you thought huh Wu tries to shake it off but he's struggling to process the information you can feel the heat coming off of him the runners sense it too, and they tense up tight. They're keyed on Duncan, and their guns are big. The looks on their faces make it clear. One wrong bead of sweat, and Wu's going down in a red mist cloud. Carter remains completely still. Her voice is level, moderate. She's done this before. Let's all stay focused. No need for this to get ugly. She speaks quietly to Wu, who listens without turning. His focus squarely on the troll. We need to find Raymond. These are the people who can help us do that. 
This was about money, right? Let's talk about money. What were you hired to do? She's right. Let's focus on Raymond. You can tell the orc girl's had enough of the tension. She blurts it out. The old man wanted us to take him in, into Kowloon Walled City. K Kowloon? Kowloon? I, God, I hope that's not a real place and I'm completely butchering it. Um, and I'm not completely butchering it. If it is, I'm, I am. I'm, I apologize. It sounds like sacred or something. No one offended anyone. Anyway. She waves a hand at the three of you. You too. Two large rats clinging to her hip and shoulder poke their heads out of the folds of her clothing. They fix their beady eyes on you intently. You know the walled city? Slum, right? I've heard of it. No, what's the walled city? Isn't this Kowloon City? We'll do what's the walled city. The girl rolls her eyes. It's a shithole. The worst slum in the eastern hemisphere. Trid chips and news stories can't do it justice. Memories of growing up in the Redmond Barrens flash through your mind. If, if you're not familiar with the Shadowrun lore, the Redmond Barons are like, it's it's such a slum, it's so bad that gangs roam everywhere and there's pretty much no type of, well, there's no government influence hardly anywhere anyway, but there's no, like, any type of authority there other than gangs. We get it. It's a real bad place. Now, why would a little old man pay you to take him there? The dwarf standing next to her nods and jumps in. Wouldn't say. He mumbled a lot, too. Just kept rambling on and on about how he had to get in. Under ordinary circumstances, I never would have accepted the gig. The Walt City's the last place I want to go. But the old man rolled up a truckload of Noonien and you gotta eat, right? Wu risks a glance at you. His weapon remains trained on the Shadow Runners, but a flicker of uncertainty plays across his face. All right, so I'm going to put a cut here because we're um, out of time for this part. Please um, come back tomorrow and we will be finding out what happens with this entire encounter. Hopefully nobody gets killed. That would be awesome. Right. I enjoyed myself. Hope to see you tomorrow. Later. Hey there, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. If you'd like to see more, just click subscribe. Come say hi to me on Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, any of those. I hope to see you next time.